it comes from just everything around you. About the, it's a state of mind. It's a, it's a state of society today. Um, you know, I, I can't be so literal with my references. I think it's it's a it's a number of references coming to, culminating together to make one idea. It's mainly to do with the end result as an image and, and hopefully a lasting image. You know, I don't like uh, throwaway images. I like things to be stuck in the mind of people. And maybe that's why my work can sometimes come across as aggressive or violent because today maybe the world to me is a bit violent. It's so big, but it's the sort of place I'd like to be shut in overnight with no tourists around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I was at St Martin's, studying uh, for the master's degree there, I used to go in there at least once, to, once a week to go through the archives. We were going through, going through rooms to set up the exhibition, and there was things I never even saw before, like colossus, sort of like statues and things. <laughs> they say, you can't wear it down Sainsbury's, can you? <laughs> Is the usual comment. Uh, I just think uh, that, I think they've got to really understand uh, as a designer, it's not just about what you see on everyday people, it's about furthering people's imaginations into shape, proportion and colour. For me, my, my basis for anything I do is based on uh, a craftsmanship, be it tailoring, be it woodwork, or be it anything else, you know. Or I try to involve a lot of handcrafted things. You know, it'd be nice to get it across um, to the general public exactly uh, a metaphor turns into a reality. Look at the silhouette and think about days before, days in the future, you know, just try to think not so close visioned, really.
think the people who see the clothes and see the video and see the mannequin on the turntable just taking reflection that if I gave you Marks and Spencers, would you look twice? That's fashion, really. You know, I think fashion turns at such a fast pace that I think you just got to have a bit of an open mind, not be so judgmental. I think just educate yourself into the world of Alexander McQueen. <laughs>